All right, so in this edition today, <laughs> these little short scouting trips, I've really been enjoying these, by the way. I don't know if you have or not, but I've really been enjoying these little scouting missions because they have given me a lot of intel. Um, but anyways, I want to show you something, and that is super important, and it don't get talked about near as much as it should. And that is, if you want to hunt good deer, if you want to hunt bucks, you got to realize they're a different critter. They're not the same animal. And I know we've said this on the podcast. I've heard Nathan say it. I've heard Alan say it. I've heard all kinds of folks say it. But they are just different critters. They're not doing the same thing that everything else is doing. If they were, they would have already been killed. And that's just something that when you learn that, things change. Um, but what I've got right here is a location that you can kill a good deer. And I'm going to show you what makes it different than somewhere that I'm just setting up to shoot deer. So I did a video the other day and I was setting up probably 300 yards that direction on a finger that goes out in a field. Tons of deer sign, doe bedding close to it. That is a place, early season, you might catch a, a, deer, a buck coming through there, but more than likely if I'm sitting down there, I'm looking to fill the freezer. And there's absolutely not one thing wrong with that. Um, I love deer hunting. Down there you will see more deer and you will fill your freezer, absolutely. Um, and hopefully you'll see me shoot a doe down there or something before too long. But this spot right here is, is where you want to look at bucks. And that is way on up from there, coming out into the same field system, but at the top of it. Nasty thick behind me. This is a wide open hardwoods all the way down through there. But you'll notice there are cliffs and rodos that make a point right here. And they're coming right across the side. It's right under a bench. Don't fall, I've said it over and over again, don't fall for the ridge lines and the benches. You don't, when you hunt benches, they're great, but on top of them is not great. Usually underneath them, sometimes above them if it's on the south side or something, it's usually underneath them. In this case, it's underneath it, and they are just, there's a lot of sign right here. Big rubs right behind me, good, good, good sign. It's also very advantageous on a, my head's spinning right now, so I can't think of the direction, but if I got the wind coming out of that spot to here, all of that doe bedding, a buck cruising right here can smell it. Um, he's safe coming, even if he's coming to eat, he's safe coming through here. This is dead on spot that I would kill, expect to kill a buck, mid-October through November. And I might kill him on oaks down there. I might kill him on oaks right over here, but this deer right here is in trouble. And I'll tell you, or a deer coming through here is in trouble great access number one got great access the other thing you'll notice on that video the other day i did not show you any rubs because there wasn't many right but here there's rubs everywhere because what's coming through here a lot is bugs so anyways i'm gonna set a trail camera right here just to see what here truth is i'm gonna pick this one of these trees there's like three trees i'm gonna pick the one that i think is gonna be best which i think is probably gonna be that split maple right there hard to say but i'm gonna go put a pin right there I will make it blue in a tree stand on the Spartan app. And I know that I feel like at least at some point I have been here and said, hey, that's where I think I can kill a deer. The, I don't put them blue and I don't put them tree stands unless I got a lot of confidence there. So I'm gonna put a blue tree stand right there. And uh, I may not be in here again until October, but regardless of the next time I'm in here with a bow, I got a, I got a good feeling about this. And it's because I'm hunting bucks. I'm hunting a good buck specifically. I'm not hunting deer. If I wanted to hunt deer, I'd have stopped 300 yards ago, 400 yards ago. Hope you learned something. Go and go find some more bucks.